One owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com, and what I've got here for you today is an absolutely beautiful 2003 Pontiac Montana. I don't know what the last year of these was, but this is getting towards it, and I'll tell you what, it's clean. Not only is it clean, it's black, and it's hard to find one of these in black like this. This thing's clean as can be. I've already done. The, I've already done the exterior review. This is going to be the interior review. But I'm giving you a quick walk around this time of night to where you can get an idea in the shadows and the uh, less light to where you can see that it's not all beat to heck. It's not all stinking dented and dinged up. This is an absolutely beautiful, well-maintained. Whoever had this took care of it. And it don't seem like there was ever a kid in this car. Not that there's anything wrong with that. This car seemed to get a little more screwed up. Let's go down the side to where you can look. Look at this. Like I say, the exterior video is another one. But... <laughs> I don't want to say laser straight or like new or any of them little quotes, but holy smoke, this is as close as it gets. That's all there is to say about it. Okay, with that in mind, that's the quick walk around, I guess, if you will. Oneownercarguide.com. There'll be over 60, 80 pictures of it on there and a full, complete video. I'm going to do the test drive in this one as well. And I'm going to jump right into showing you under the hood, on the inside, and all this stuff and the options. Seats, beautiful, in great shape, hardly any wear. One of the only things in this car that is even a issue, if you will, is this piece. And I'm pretty sure there's a lumbar support there. And this handle here, the handle is stripped. And I looked them up, I found one for like, it was $14 and somebody bought it before I could get it on eBay. You can order them new for probably about 40 or so. But <laughs> carpets are beautiful. Um, couple light stains we didn't shampoo them or nothing like that it'll clean right up and look just beautiful steering wheel controls and everything Pontiacs are famous for dash is beautiful there's a small crack over there I showed you in the other video and I will show you again headliners in great shape both seats just perfect there's a little like a smudge there um, seats forward back down in the back up in the back, down in the front, up in the front. This lever works the recline, and it's at a nice height. If you actually pop the handle off and put a little wrench on it, it turns it just fine because the handle, the inside, stripped out. Really common problem with GM interior parts like that. And it's amazing, actually. That's the only thing on this, really, to talk about. A little smudges here from having that middle seat in there. I don't have the middle seat. Yeah, let's again, the headliner's just in great shape. All the controls back here. Missing a knob there, which is another thing Chevys are pretty famous for on this type of thing. I'm going to go ahead and clip this down. Drink holders, man. I've never seen that. Door jams and everything. Those are the wheels. The wheels are just beautiful. Um, did I pop the hood? I sure did. Let's look in the trunk. The paint... Is man, I've wanted one of these for a long time, and look, I got it smeared up because it got some hard like water from a sprinkler on it. Okay, you can flip this. We'll show it to you first. Number one, this door is automatic, and you can either just open it; it does it by itself. And clip that, put it down. These also come out. I'm going to pull in this little lever here and stuff. Back seat's in great shape. Front seats are in great The rig, the whole rig's in great shape. That's all there is to say about it. Flip this bad boy down. Flip this up for extra storage compartments and such. Just everything you want in a minivan or SUV or MPV and cheap. We're talking, look at the seal around here. Just as nice as it gets. This thing has almost no wear. Rear parking sensors, I haven't figured out how that works. Um, there might be a fuse out on it or something. I don't know. Um, I'm gonna show you in a sec. Give it a little pull, yeah. Give it a little pull and it goes on its own. Boom. Closes nice and tight. Let's get this opened up and show you under the hood. Okay. Look at this, 3400 SFI, and it's clean as can be. 
there's hardly anywhere on the exhaust manifold cover and everything. This is just a very look at the hood insulation's all there. Even that piece of rubber that's usually all gone. Usually it's gone, man. Okay. Kind of a under the hood on the inside. Let me see if there was any little things here. Nothing to show over here. AC is ice cold, front and rear. Don't know if they're separate or not, but as far as the compressors or what have you. Floor mats are in great shape. And now we're gonna do a little bit of a test drive. Radio is good and works. Like I say, AC is cold, front and back. This button will open the door. There is a traction control button if you want to really get down on it and turn your traction control off. You can turn your traction control off. What's the mileage? 97, 299. If you're buying this, look in the eBay ad because I will be the kind of person who is putting miles on this thing. Not a whole lot, but I'm gonna drive it a little bit. It's a nice, nice driving rig. And you call me the minivan king, man, because I'm loving this minivan. In, out, up, down, out, in, up, down. I've been wanting a clean Montana for a while. I found a couple. But nothing was really clean enough. Or too high a mile. Or this or that. And I found one that was actually was in great shape. It was gold. Yeah. 187,000. It looks pretty clean when I was walking up on it. Got in it, it wasn't so clean. So I'm not gonna buy something like that. I wanted a clean one. And it took me a while. I got a vibe coming too. I'm looking for a Pontiac vibe. Okay, we are in the park. Wow, there's a stop sign on that side, but not the side coming back. Maybe you'll notice that on the way back. I don't know, I noticed it just now. This is a nice area for a test drive, and I'm just up here and figured I'd move this area. Watch this. Shifts right when it should and everything. Good running car. Down shifts, up shifts. Now, this car needs a camshaft positioning sensor. And I gotta do that before um, I smog it if I sell it in this uh, in California. Um, or up to you if it's being shipped and you're gonna do it from your end. I am selling the car as is. Um, it's like it is. Meaning, right now, I'll show you on the way. The difference here. No oncoming traffic for 500 feet. We're in. The service engine zoom light is on. And that is the code. Put my foot in it now. Just up to the speed limit though, I gotta let off. This is 45, but I'll tell you what. The downshift, the upshift, it's all here. This is a nice driving van. Uh, if you're interested in it, you can call me. Nathan, 406-544-6919 or 406-546-8748. Um, OneOwnerCarGuy.com. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful van. I am looking at a piece of property up here. There's some cheaper property in this area and it was actually a church I was looking at. And I don't know if the deal's going to go through or not. Different financing on commercial type places sometimes are harder. But I want something not in San Diego. Not in LA. Etc. So here we are. 
back at the park in the middle of nowhere because I just want to do a place that's out of the way. I don't want the hustle and bustle, but I want to be close to it. So, for what it's worth. I'm fed up. I'm fed up with doing the same thing, being in the same places, and worrying about the same freaking things all the time. Sick of having employees that cause me issues and having. I just want to do it all myself. That's what I want to do. Okay. One more thing. I know I mentioned it in the previous video, I think. However, I want to make sure I mention it here. I didn't park very well. Left the lights on. No, I did mention it. That little squirter was missing. Okay. So, one owner car guy. Oneownercarguy.com. This is your 2003 Pontiac, Montana. It's in great shape. Beautiful, beautiful van. Um, if there's any questions, like I say, Nathan, 406-546-8748. Call me anytime. And other than that, oneownercarguy.com. All kinds of pictures and all that kinds of stuff on there. And that's about all I know. Let you walk around. It's underneath, it's on the outside. Check out the full exterior video on my channel and call with any questions. Thanks for watching. Have a great day or night. Whatever it is, wherever you are, oneownercarguy.com.